You're a parent. You're sitting in the living room with your child. You ask your child to close the living room door, but your child doesn't listen. He blanks you. How would you feel? Or you're a teacher. You're in the classroom. You ask one of your students to close the classroom door, but your student doesn't listen. He blanks you. How would you feel? You wouldn't like it. Why? Because you just ask your student, or if you're a parent, you just ask your child to close the door, but he's not listened to you. You've commanded him, you've ordered him, but he's blanked you. You wouldn't like it. You would feel really sad. Did you know, brothers and sisters, Allah the Almighty, a number of times in the Quran, He commands us, He orders us to establish our five-time obligatory prayers. He says, establish your five-time obligatory prayers. He says, be punctual with your five-time obligatory prayers. Now when Allah is commanding us here, then the command means compulsion. We have to do it. It's compulsory upon us. We've got no choice. But many of us, unfortunately, we are not punctual with our five-time obligatory prayers. We intentionally miss our five-time obligatory prayers. Many of us, we think that five-time obligatory prayers, they don't hold no importance. They're peripheral in our life. But how do you think Allah the Almighty is feeling when He is commanding us, He is ordering us to be punctual with our five-time obligatory prayers, but we are blanking Him. On one side, we want peace in our lives. But on the other side, we are blanking Allah the Almighty. How do you think our life will become peaceful? On one side, we complain that we are facing problem after problem. We are facing calamity after calamity in our life. But we are blanking Allah the Almighty at the same time. Obviously, we are going to be facing these problems in our life. Obviously, we are going to face peace or success in our lives if we are going to be blanking Allah the Almighty. If we want peace and success, brothers and sisters, then we have to listen to the commands of Allah. We have to act upon the orders of Allah the Almighty. The Prophet wasallam he mentions between man and between disbelief is discarding of salah, intentionally missing salah. So on one side, we've got man. On the other side, we've got disbelief. In the middle, we've got salah. So as long as we be punctual with our five time obligatory prayers, then that saves us from disbelief. But as soon as we intentionally start missing our five time obligatory prayers, then that partition of salah is uplifted and we are linked to with disbelief. To such an extent that many scholars, in fact many companions, they were of the opinion that one who intentionally discards and misses his five-time obligatory prayers, then such a person can have the verdict of kufr and the verdict of disbelief issued upon him. Even though majority of the scholars are not of this opinion, however, this is an opinion that is there and present, which shows how severe it is to intentionally discard our five-time obligatory prayers.